This is Intel Nook. It's a mini PC. This one comes with a i7 13th gen. Box looks like this. As for the small computers, I only value Intel Nuke like this, Lenovo, HP, and Dell. Others, not so much. Others usually use cheap parts, and there's a reason why they're so cheap. This one is bare bone, which means it's uh, uh, the case, power supply, motherboard, and CPU. And uh, what I need is RAM and SSD. To be honest with you, I wanted to find something decent with AMD. AMD has better integrated graphics. But we'll have to stick to Iris XC graphics. It's gonna be an office computer, so probably fine. Three years of warranty, by the way. We're going to use uh, this SSD, two terabyte. I did unboxing for it recently. And 32 gig of RAM, 16 and 16 dual channel. That's more than enough for an office computer, 32 gig of RAM. Most of gaming laptops or desktops don't have 32. 8 is low by modern standards, 16 is good for most of things, but 32 is that extra, it's good to have more than less, so better to have 32 and it will be good for years to come. DDR4 is cheap anyway, G-Skill, Rip Jaws, 32 gig, like $55 or something. This is it. This is a desktop computer. What's good about mini PCs, you can throw it in your backpack and go and use it elsewhere, just connect it with a, a display port or HDMI cord to any monitor or TV, and that's it. And you have 13 Gen i7, 1360p by the way, which is quite powerful. It's more powerful than what is in my gaming computer, to be honest with you. If you compare it to Lenovo, or a ProDesk, HP Pro Mini, Elite Mini, all those, Dell, all those have a different shape. It's longer, but thinner. This one is more like, you know, thicker, but uh, shorter. Whatever you prefer, either way is fine. I like the design of this one much more. And it has better... Um, you can put two SSDs in here. I'm gonna take all this plastic. Intel Nuke. Good ventilation here. Let's see, we have uh, two USB-A, Thunderbolts, two HDMI, Ethernet. Kensington lock, two more USB, headphone input, power. It looks much better than all the Pro Minis I re reviewed recently. Unfortunately, no display port. Let's look at the rest of the stuff. Manual, some warranty papers and stuff. Got some metal thing. I don't think I'm gonna be using it. Let's see, power adapter. That's pretty big. That's about as big as the computer itself. We have Chikoni power adapter. This one is 120 watt, which is pretty good. 120. Chikoni, by the way, MSI computers use Chikoni and some other brands use Chikoni. Chikoni makes power adapters for different brands. Second part. If you travel abroad, you just swap this part for the one you need. And that's pretty much it because this one is 100 to 240 volt, which means it can work anywhere in the world. Now we have it assembled. Also comes with some screws and stuff. I checked all the papers. There is no instructions on what to do, how to install anything, which is surprising to me, but whatever, we'll figure. We'll start with unscrewing four screws over here. We unscrewed all four. We'll have to be careful here. we we'll have it connected with the wire. We we'll see here a lot of small things. One SSD here, one SSD there, two RAM slots, 
this is for ethernet and internet bluetooth wi-fi all that stuff ax211 ngw let's start with the rib jaws make sure we put it correctly like this so this fits in here make sure and then just press boom second one should be same way let's see yep it's good Make sure you put it in, and then some way. We installed 32 gig of RAM. We'll unscrew this one and install the SSD. Push it in, and then we'll just screw it back over here. Here we have 2.5 SATA connection, right there. I didn't notice it. It was right there. So you can have three SSDs in here. It's a tiny computer that can hold three SSDs. Wow. We connected the power. We connected HDMI cord. I'm not sure. Uh, Thunderbolt might actually be better. I'll figure later. Now we just turn it on. Only for USB ports. Keyboard requires two. And we have a flash drive with Windows and mouse. And that's all the USB ports we got, so. Later on, we'll have to use uh, one of those Thunderbolts to connect more devices through that. I'll have to use something like this through Thunderbolt to connect more USB-A's and SD card. After turning it on, we see the Windows installation. It automatically booted from, uh, from the flash drive. It's a 49 inch uh, widescreen monitor, so later we'll adjust the resolution. Installing Windows had some complications. It could not recognize Wi-Fi uh, driver. I had to bypass it through installation and then uh, later on uh, download on a flash drive and uh, transfer it here and install from here and then everything started working. Intel integrated graphics provides uh, 5K resolution through HDMI. Unfortunately, only 60 Hertz. On top of this uh, two terabyte M2 SSD, I'm going to use a four terabyte SATA SSD as well from my old computer. I'll need this two terabyte. I'll fill it up with my phone backup. I prefer uh, backing up with the phone to the SSD rather than to the cloud. It's like I just need to put it in. Let's try. After a few attempts, I was able to put it in. And now we have uh, two terabyte and four terabyte. It worked right away. Now we can screw it back together. And I'm going to give you my feedback about this device. Overall, we ended up with a very powerful office computer. i7-1360p is very powerful. 32 gig of RAM is more than enough. 2 terabyte of fast Samsung SSD is also like fascinating. It's uh, better than the vast majority gaming laptops. To be honest with you, if you compare it to a gaming laptop, this computer has better CPU, better RAM, I mean more RAM rather, 32 gig, and uh, 2 terabyte of good SSD, which is also much better than in like 99% of gaming laptops. The only thing is video card, but this is not a gaming laptop, so it's uh, it's gonna be good for maybe like seven, eight years, I, I believe. It's gonna be still good. The only thing uh, is integrated graphics. I wish it supported 120 hertz. My monitor support 120. I might have to switch to something else in several years. Uh, another downside is uh, only four USB-A ports, two on the front, two on the back. I wish it was like six or eight would be ideal for me. No display port, two HDMI though. Maybe better would be to have one and one or two and one. Um, SD card slot, I wish it had one, maybe somewhere here. It would be nice to stick SD card in it. Two Thunderbolts is nice, so I can connect uh, adapters like this. Uh, I'll probably get something else, something better with like more ports, just in case. Maybe like five, six ports, uh, USB-A and SD card reader. 
having the newest i7 it means that it hits and it uh, and you hear it it hits and then you if you touch it when it works hard you can feel the hit and you can feel the fans so it's gonna be just as loud as a laptop with the fans but not as loud as a full-size computer and last thing is portability so you can see this one is not uh, not that big it, uh, like this size you see it's pretty small but we have a power adapter that's about the same size then you'll need a keyboard a monitor and a mouse to connect to it and uh, that's quite a lot of things um, a lot of people will be just fine with some laptop that's why i think a laptop might be actually a better solution if you want some portability if you want you can connect external keyboard and mouse and monitor to a laptop the downside of a laptop is that it might be hard to upgrade but uh, you can just choose one that you can if you need and another downside of this uh, Intel Nuke is that it does not come with a Windows. I believe those that do not have a SSD or hard drive in them don't come with Windows. At least this is the case with this one. I contacted Intel support and they told me that yes, it does not have Windows. So I'm using right now Windows uh, that tells me I did I need to activate it. Otherwise, it's great for me and it's uh, what I wanted. Even with uh, all those small downsides, it is what it is and it's pretty much the best thing you can get. Competition is pretty close, HP Elite Books and stuff, but um, I found this one at a better price with the specs that I want. It's a better price than, uh, than competition even when they are on sale.